Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to make a browser game. Uh, we will be making a browser game with the uh, languages HTML, CSS, PHP, and uh, JavaScript. Uh, it will be a base building game, uh, much like uh, Travian or any kind of game. I, I don't really know, I don't play browser games that much. I actually don't play them at all, but <laughs> I have just seen like the banners for Travian. Uh, we will be using the same kind of methods which I have made to uh, make my game, which is this arena.rica.se. I don't have a good name for it yet, I'm just calling it Arena. Um, just a quick peek on what it looks like. It's like this. Um, you have a character mm, with a character with some stats, uh, got a couple of skills, and uh, we got a lot of equipment. Uh, so basically, you create a character. You you buy stuff from the from the store to start with. Uh, then you can then you can train against uh, beasts like rat, and you will gain some gold and XP. Here, I don't gain anything because I am level um, eleven. But if I was level one, I would gain stuff. And you can buy more, and you can also fight in the arena with uh, against other players. One versus one, two versus two, three versus three. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Uh, so we can do that right now, just to show you how it works. Um, so pretty much it's not interactive. Uh, so you just set a surrender HP and who you wish to fight. So let's see. Yeah, so someone else was like queuing so we could meet someone. We could meet the, fight the character called 50 Cent and basically the match goes like this. It's played out on the server side and I'm just presented with the report. So like this, you can read it all carefully, or you can just eh, scroll down to the bottom and see that Team 2 was victorious, which is the opponent. But still. Uh, so I gained 15 experience ten, and 10 gold, and my HP is knocked down a bit. Here. And as you can see, you regain 40% of your HP every 3 minutes, so all you need to do is wait. Uh, the game also got to the tournament, uh, which you can, we can sign up for it. When one more person signs up, it will play. And that they will look like look like this. It's it's pretty much just basic matches and uh, uh, basic matches and just if you win you advance to the next round. Uh, they can have uh, rewards and prizes, but none of them none of them does. It's it's just automatical because there's too few players at the moment. Uh, anyways, you can also enchant your weapons. So like this, you can have two enchants per weapon. On my main weapon, which is Blood Quench, I have Tempered, which gives me extra damage, and Fencing, which gives me uh, Parry skill. So Parry was one of the previous skills here. So I have the maximum of 300 plus 124 from enchants. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that's about it. You can also go on Adventures, which is like ran random events, where the actions is... Uh, the results are like based on... Uh, your skills, your stats, and your decisions. Uh, all of these, to go on an adventure, it takes one apple, which you gain every, I think it's 15 minutes. Uh, you also gain them when you fight in the arena against another player. So we can just go on an adventure. So, found a large cave. Let's enter it. Oh, there's a small bear standing in, standing in our way. Let's find him. There we go. We beat him. We can also click here to see the reports. I uh, beat him quite easily because the small bear is really really weak but still so we, we got some experience some gold so that's pretty nice. Uh, anyways this is um, this is what I build built uh, this is my first project in web designing or web programming and uh, it turned out pretty good. Uh, it also got a tavern and we also have a a chat where you can type hello like that uh, so yeah that's it so let's start with this I uh, my windows crashed yesterday so I it's reinstalled it has nothing so let's just start from the basic uh, start from the beginning let's just download what we need uh, so your server we will just uh, write everything and run it locally to start with so we need to download uh, we need to install a web server so next we are going to download something called WAMP server, which is a 
web server with the built-in PHP support and MySQL. Uh, so let's just go to webserver.com and just press download and it's 64 bit or, or 32 if you have 32 bit windows. Um, so the first one we're going to need to download is, uh, is uh, this if you click the second link here which is the C++ Visual Studio uh, so you just press download and if you're on 64-bit choose this one if you're on 32 choose this one uh, so I, I did this earlier so we will skip that for now and you also need to uh, you also need to download the Visual Studio 2015 uh, so same thing here, if you're on 64, choose the 64, if you're on 32, choose the 86. Um, I will put these links in the, in the description of the video. So, once you download those, install those, then we can download web server. Just press this, download directly, and it will start for us automatically. just like that. So let's just open this. There we go. And we'll accept and you can pl you can install it anywhere but I'm, I'm just going to go with the default path. So it's like that. So that is working. We will also download an IDE which is uh, uh, basically a uh, text editor uh, but with with uh, code support so it, it will help us with our coding, it will make it easier uh, because you can write everything in notepad but once you get to a lot of files it, it gets quite messy and uh, it doesn't do things like intendation maybe that's not what it's called anyways it, it, it doesn't make your code neat uh, so we are going to get the uh, the ID called NetBeans. Uh, I've actually never used this before. Uh, usually I use one called Aptana Studio, but I had some trouble installing that, so let's just go with this. So we're just going to go to netbeans.org and press download. And uh, let's see, which one do we actually want here? We want one for PHP. Uh, so let's go with... Uh, Oh, there we go. All of them, of course, because uh, we need PHP, we need HTML, uh, we need JavaScript. So, there we go. So, well, that is downloading. Okay, uh, so web server is completed. Um, it wants to use Internet Explorer as, as our standard browser. I'm going to change this to to uh, Chrome. You don't need to do that. It really doesn't matter because you, you can use wh whichever browser you want. And then uh, it will use Notepad as a standard text editor. Sure, why not? It, it's fine. Um, you can also change the, those later. Uh, there we go. So it's done. And let's uh, install NetBeans. Uh, so since we installed, uh, or since we downloaded the uh, pack with everything, uh, we might as well uh, remove some of it. So let's press customize and just remove all the Java. Let's just remove everything we don't need, so just HTML and uh, JavaScript and PHP. Also the base ID, but you can't remove this one. So, um, yep, that's it. Just next, next and it will find your uh, Java environment for you. If you don't see anything here, you will get a link saying that you're missing Java and and in, uh, instructions on how to install it, so that's not an issue. So let's just install that. Perfect. Uh, while we're waiting for this one to install, we can start a web server and just see that it works. Uh, let's close this and double click that and it seems to be working great. So you can see we got a little little green icon here. Um, some of you may 
may uh, be able to start it, but this icon will never turn green. Uh, the most common issue for that is if you're using uh, Skype and you have Skype on uh, before you start your web server because Skype uses the same ports by default. You can change that if you go into I think it's uh, I think it's tools advanced connection and there is a little box you can uncheck that says uh, uh, Skype using uh, port 80 and for um, for 443. Uh, so, so that's not an issue, but it seems to be working great. So let's just try to go to localhost. And yeah, we can see our web server here. So it's working great. So this is our website it's running on our computer. Great. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we're still a long way from installing this. So I'm going to pause the video. So NetBeans is installed. So we can just press finish and we can start NetBeans. Yay! Uh, yeah, sure. So with this we are we are ready to go. Um, so this is it for the first episode and uh, I hope to see you in the next one where we'll actually start coding. So until then, take care.